Hey, you. Yeah, that's right, you. You want to become a mapping YouTuber. That's the entire reason you clicked on this video. I got you. This is my official how to map like Adis Pro tutorial. You are going to need three programs, all of them being free of charge. In other words, just meaning that they don't cost money. And yeah, let's get on with the first one. So the fundamental, paint.net. If I go here, you just, all you have to do is type in paint.net download. And once you get to paint.net download, you are going to click the first link. It's going to take you to this website, and there are a lot of ads, just only click what I tell you to click. You're going to scroll down, and you're going to see these two bars. Click the bottom one, and all you have to do is click download.pdn. And then it should download to your desktop and eventually you'll be able to open it. And it will look like this. But we actually need something to put on the map. And for that, we're going to need a map. For this, I always like to go to map chart. Just search map chart net and it's going to be the first one that shows up. And what you're going to do is go to this top area. You're going to click world. And then you're going to go to advanced. You're going to get here. You're going to scroll down. And this is what the map is automatically going to look like. You're going to switch the map projection over to the Robinson. And you are going to turn off the little lines. And also, if you really want, they can you can download the lakes. And you can also download the cities. But in this case, you're just going to be downloading a normal map. So all you have to do once you have this map set up, you just have to go to download map. And then you're going to download it to desktop. Once you download it to your desktop, you're going to be able to go back to paint.net and you're going to click this file icon and eventually if you go to desktop, you're going to be able to see world map. And I edited my colors so that the ocean is blue and the land is white. But there are some things off to the side that I usually keep out of my videos. But that is the layer and the color tools. Now these are pretty self-explanatory. The color tool, you just get colors and the layers, you can switch on and off layers. And there are a whole bunch of tools here, but that would take like an hour to explain. So basically all you need to do is just kind of mess around with it on your own. The, the one thing I will tell you is that you are going to want to click F for the fill tool and then you select red and blue. Fill both of them, click R, click uh, light red color, and then you can click whichever one. Also, make sure to turn off an italicized rendering. It's the one up here. And then after that, you'll be able to show Germany's invasion of Poland. But this can be used in any mapping scenario. Also, I've gotten a lot of comments on like, how do you make your Wixo map? Literally just color it all gray and manually erase the borders. But yeah, that's kind of paint on that figured out. Now you know how to make your mapping videos, but how do you record it? Well, you use this. This is OBS. But to get OBS, it is surprisingly simple. All you literally have to do is OBS download. And once you search that, you're going to go to the top link, which is their website. And depending on your computer type, it will give you that as your top option. So you're going to download the installer, you're going to install it, and then it'll download to your desktop. And eventually you'll open it and you will actually most likely not see this. What you will most likely see is a black screen. So you're actually going to go ahead and go to the scene tab. You're going to create a scene, you're going to select it, and then you're going to add a display capture and a video capture if you have a camera and an audio input capture. That's like why you can hear me, why you can see me, why you can see anything. And those are kind of just like the bare bones of mapping if we're talking about OBS. So once you have the display capture on the other screen where your paint.net thing should be, you are going to click record, which is right here. You can't see it, but it's in the bottom right. And eventually you're gonna click stop record. And now you have this recording, but it has a whole bunch of quiet parts. And for that, you're gonna need Shotcut. Shotcut is a very simple editing app. Literally all you have to do again is just search Shotcut Download. You're going to click on the first website and you are going to download it for your uh, computer type and that is going to download it to your desktop. And eventually you're going to open it and you're going to find this. New project, don't worry about that. Just open your video thing and you can drag it in to the editing. If you look right down here, there are three settings that you should always have on. Basically, it just allows the cutting to be a lot more crisp and also turn on the little magnet symbol. But once you are done cutting out all the quiet parts, you can now go to export up here, and then you're gonna wanna type in the YouTube preset and select it, and you're gonna click export file, and whatever you call your file, always follow it with .mp4. And once you do that, select it so it downloads to your desktop, and eventually you have a video in your desktop. So now go to your channel, you're gonna see this create tab in the top right, and you're gonna click upload video, and then you're going to select your file and then you're going to give it a name and give it a thumbnail. Eventually, you'll learn how to make a thumbnail. It's uh, pretty simple. You just have to take a screenshot of what you want to be your thumbnail and you can design it however you want. And then 
boom. That's it. That, that's literally it. Three programs and just how to use them. Now, here are a couple things that I'm going to tell you, not on the relating of actually how to make a mapping video, but what to expect. If I go to my YouTube studio, you can see here that there are actually a couple videos that have not released yet for me, but in the future when I'm posting this, they, they should have come out. And when you see them come out, they most likely have above 300 views. I am very fortunate to have this kind of recognition early on, and you can see a lot of them have been extremely successful. But that is not going to be the case for most people, in my opinion, I think I just got lucky. But the one thing about the mapping community is that it always finds you, and you should stay persistent. But yeah, all after you do all that, you got a mapping video. So if you guys did enjoy this tutorial, then please drop a like and sub, and I will see you guys in tomorrow's video.